take the AGA, I cut the stainless steel mesh, just pretty much eyed it as far as how high uh, from the bottom to the top center post. Um, so this is pretty much what you're going to start with. You fold one end very small fold on one end just like that I'm not sure if you see it but you see the uh, little fray little fray sticking out so what we're gonna do is just get the scissors move all of the frays here you want the edges pretty clean that's pretty good so make sure you go over every part of the edges and cut off all all ends sticking out it's pretty good so now what you want to do is make sure that you have a rod I use this rod um, as far as the oops, as far as the length the uh, width it's a little over one millimeter so if you see there it's a little over 1.17 millimeters. I got it uh, from Rob. Robin is a hobby person and he gets these for uh, the airplanes to you know control the flaps and stuff so I just cut off a piece of the rod that he had. They have different sizes um, but he had this line around it seemed to be perfect. You can get it at any hobby store. Um, they have a lot of different diameters from what I was told. Before I roll it up, what I do is actually burn the whole thing just to get everything out. So I use a huge torch. It speeds up the, uh, the process. Take this into a, hold it with a um, pliers. The torch I use is pretty strong. This is a 400 mesh, by the way. So. hit just to burn off any oils or anything all right let that cool down for a little bit start the the roll now when you start the roll make sure that the fold I'm gonna start to roll it that way make sure the fold is also because you want to end it where the flap is in the inside of it so get the rod and start the Rolling. I got a custom of getting this really good. Um, but yeah, I'll just start the roll. 
I do a loose roll. The uh, reason why I do that is because this is 400 mesh with 500 mesh. It's good for thin juice PG. Um, 325 is good for thick juice, uh, high VG juices. Uh, 400 is right in the middle. I like a loose wrap so that um, it uh, kind of works both ways. I've been able to get like good 80% VG juice on this. I haven't tried 100% VG. Um, tighten it up a little bit. And at this point, this is where you want to go ahead and check if it fits in the hole. And I'm using an AGA. Right now it's not. And just tighten it up a little bit more. Because at this point, if it's just too much material, um, the only time now is the best time to cut it off. still too much so what I'm gonna do now is the only time to do it is unravel it and then cut off just a little bit a good amount and put it back on the rod. And start the roll process again. And get it back on. And then start tightening it up again. And get the AGA again and check to see if it fits. You want a firm fit, not loose. I can loosen it up a little bit. And tighten it up. And put it in. Seems like it's perfect. So can't do uh, tightening yet because as you do the oxidation it gets loose it gets uh, roll gets looser and you're gonna have to redo it anyway so at this point we're gonna do a oxidation okay I'm gonna put it leave it on the rod start the oxidation
off all the water. You'll notice that as soon as it ambers up, all the water's gone. As we take uh, VG, you can get it at a, any store like Walmart or anything. I, yeah, or pharmacy, you can get VG at. Um, so, as soon as it cools off, you um, basically drip on the VG. I'm going to turn it in a little bit. Okay. Now what you want to do, some people use lighters, but I'm just going to use a torch again. And then start burning up. Let's see the flame and then it's gonna stop and you're all good so we're gonna let that cool off a little bit cools pretty fast now what you want to do is uh, re-tighten the roll because it got loose during the oxidation process. You'll notice the wick is now harder. Uh, take it the AGA, stick it in the hole and see if it's good. It's not, so you tighten it more. A little loose, so we're gonna back out just a little bit and see how that fits now. Is it change the light in here? Fits very nicely now, not too loose, but just good enough. Okay, and you're pretty much done. I normally do another like oxidation or two and then another VG burn, but you know, for the sake of this video, I don't want it too long. Um, that's pretty much the oxidation method. Alright, now we're gonna, you know, go ahead and start on the coil.